Hello, my name is Ravel Gaither and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on a process of me making this really amazing crossbody bag. And I haven't done a crossbody bag in a really long time. I feel like my last few projects, I've always been saying, oh, I haven't done this style bag in a really long time. I've kind of been going back and touching on styles that I haven't done in a really long time. So today we're doing a crossbody bag and it came out so amazing, everything went smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the bag and talk about it. So let's do that. So this is the bag that I make in this video. and this design is so fire literally it is so dope so i did this really cool design it has a flame design on here and it is zigzag stitched on so it's kind of like a patchwork style design and it's three colors so we have a black denim a light blue denim and then the pink denim and this is all denim the pink denim that i used on this bag was actually from hong kong i want to say it's from a really small brand in hong kong and they make it themselves it's really good quality it's a selvage denim i haven't used it in a really long time and i did do purse feet on here and one of my favorite parts about this bag is the zipper i love this color on here and the strap is adjustable so you know you can make it longer or shorter if i could get this up you can make it longer or shorter and the crazy thing about this design was i almost didn't do it because it has flames on it and flames was really trendy it was really overdone and like just corny at this point and I was like, I don't wanna be doing stuff that's corny that I may not like cause it has the flames on it. But the design was so stuck in my head and was haunting me. And so I just decided to do it. And I love the way that it came out. I actually think it's really cool. So if you do wanna stick around and watch me make this bag, please do make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And let's get into the video. All right, so it is currently Sunday, October 29th, and I'm about to start working on this dope bag. I'm literally so excited to be making this bag. This is definitely a really interesting piece, and I almost wasn't gonna do it just because I was like, oh, flames are kinda, you know, and eh, you know, kinda out right now, but I'm gonna do it, and I really think it's gonna turn out cool. So I have all my pieces kinda cut out, or not all of them on the table right now, but my main pieces that I'm gonna start with first. So with this, I'm layering the flame. So it's gonna be the pink and then the blue is going, oops, that's the wrong piece. So it's gonna be the pink and then the blue is going to be layered on top of that. And it's gonna look really freaking cool. I love these colors together. And this is the test piece that I sewed up right here for this bag. Um, I just drew the flames on to kind of get an idea. So this is essentially what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a crossbody. And yeah, so the first thing that I'm about to do is actually sew on these. And I'm gonna use my um, domestic sewing machine, gonna zigzag stitch it on. And I'm kind of nervous to zigzag stitch these on, honestly, because these are really tight curves. Um, so it's probably going to be kind of difficult, but I'm going to do it anyway and get it knocked that out. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I also made a template. If you've ever watched any of my videos and my production stuff, you know I like to make templates just to make sure everything lines up. So I have my templates holes marked out. So then I'm just going to lay this on top, dot all of my lines, remove it, and then line this piece up where all the lines are supposed to go. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. That's what you're about to see. And then I'll check in once I knock all that out. So let's do that. All right, so like I had said in my last clip, the first thing that I did was took my template and put it on top of my front body piece and I just marked out all the holes that I punched on the template just so I can get a really nice lineup of where everything is supposed to be. And then I took my liquid stitch, which I've been using liquid stitch a lot lately in my pieces because it really does a good job at holding your stuff in places, especially for things like this when you're doing like overlaying designs and stuff. And then after that, I went to my domestic machine and started zigzag stitching it on. And honestly, I thought this would be really difficult, you know, with the tight curves and stuff, but it's really just about the control of the machine. Um, this is a really easy machine to control, so it wasn't too bad. And then I did the same thing for the bottom portion of the flame, put my liquid stitch on there, stuck it on. And then I went to my machine and started zigzag stitching it on. And I went over it about two times. I realized that if I change the length of my zigzag stitch, I don't have to go over it as many times. Originally, when I was doing designs like this, I would go over it like four or five times, but I changed the length to a really smaller one. So I only have to go over it twice. And it made it so, it made the process so much more faster and easier for me. Um, and then in a second, you'll see me go over it for the second time. Um, and you'll, you'll see like it gives like a really nice thick border. I love the border that it gives to the flame and it's the thick stitch look it looks really cool so i'm gonna stop talking and let y'all just watch the rest so yeah All right, so it's the next day and I went ahead and finished sewing up the flames on the front and the back and this design is so freaking dope like 
this is beautiful i freaking love this so the front is done and the back is done as well i love that i'm doing it on the front and back as well so now that i have these sewn together um, and I also went ahead and, and put the interfacing back on here as well. I did that off camera. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and sew the piping on. I'm doing a black piping all around the edge. I think it'll look really cool with it. So I'm doing the black piping. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and sew the strap connector on the gusset because I'm going to do a strap connector that goes all the way along the gusset um, from one end to the other. And then it's going to have the bottom support on the bottom. And I'm going to put four purse feet on here. And the purse feet that I'm using, so the hardware on this bag, I'm using, you know, regular nickel silver. I love this with black denim and blue. I always use regular silver, but I only have, the only silver I have for purse feet is nickel matte. And it's a little different from each other but it's gonna be on the bottom i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal and this is the only purse feed that i have um i don't i'll see how i feel about it i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be too big of a deal but if it is i don't know what i'm gonna do because it's the only purse feed that i have right now and i don't feel like ordering more and waiting so i'm just gonna use the regular nickel mat and i'm gonna go ahead sew on the piping attach the strap connector and then sew on the bottom support and all that stuff and then i'll check back in and let you know what's going on so far it's been really cool sewing the curves wasn't that difficult either it was actually really smooth i thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was so about to go ahead and do that and that's what you're going to see so let's do that All right, so I went ahead and added the piping around the whole exterior of the front and back, and it looks so cool, especially looks cool on the light blue because that's really where it pops most on there. And I also did went ahead and did it on the back. And I'm sorry, this flame design is so freaking dope. Like this pink with this blue, I can't stop staring at it. It's really just, this is gonna be one of those dope pieces, I'm telling you. And I went ahead, put the purse feet on, sewed this up. And this is what I was talking about when I said the strap connector is gonna go from one end to the other. So essentially, you know, it's gonna look like this on the actual sewed on together, if that makes sense. So now that I have this all prepared and ready, I'm gonna start on the zipper panel. And this is the color for the zipper panel. It's gonna be the light blue denim. And then I, this is gonna be the color for the lining, this pink. I have not even used this yet. I bought this so long ago and have yet to use this color. It's a salmon pink color. And it doesn't necessarily match this pink perfectly, but I think it's a really dope pink to have on the inside of the bag and it's gonna look really nicely. And um, this is the color that I'm going with for the zipper. And this pink doesn't match either, but all these different pinks look so cool together to me. I don't know why it just, sometimes when your colors don't match, it's corny, but it sometimes can look really good. And this is one of those times where I think it's gonna look really good. So I wanna go ahead and sew up the zipper panel and then attach that to the bottom gusset. And then I'll check back in and let you know what I have to do after that. So let's get to it. All right, so it's the next day and last night I went ahead and finished up the zipper gusset and it came out amazing. I love the colors on this. Now, in my last video, I said that that was one of the best zipper gussets that I've done. This is one of the best zipper gussets that I've done in a long time. Everything matches up perfectly. And the reason why I've been saying that is because I don't really do bags often with zipper closures. I don't, it's not that I do it on purpose. I just find myself normally designing bags that have flaps. So. I'm not really the best at doing zipper gusses, but I've been trying new techniques in different ways and the new ways that I've been doing has been working really well. So really excited about that. So I have this done and now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start on the lining again. This is the color for the lining. It's like a salmon pink. And for this interior, I'm gonna do the same thing that I normally do, slip pocket and then a zipper pocket. So. The zipper on this one, I'm just going with the black. I was honestly debating between a lot of colors. I was debating between a light blue, just all light blue with a light blue coil. I was a light blue with a silver coil, um, black with gunmetal. I was thinking like the pink, but it was just, 
I like the black is contrasting against it and I'm doing black contrasting top stitching for the lining as well on the inside. So it's just gonna look really nice and cohesive. Plus my interior logo and stuff is black. So that's what I'm doing. So it's gonna be the zip pocket, slip pocket. And I'm gonna start sewing up the lining and touching my logo and all that stuff. And that's what you're gonna see. So I'm gonna do that, check back in, let you know what's up. And then, yeah, so let's do that. All right, so I went ahead and sewed the linings and I basted them to the back. So this is, so has a little thread on it. This is the side that's gonna have the slit pockets, the front part, and this is the back. And as you can see, it has a zipper pocket and my name tag. And this is what I meant when I said I wanted to do the black because a little bit more cohesive because I did the black contrast top stitching with the black embroidery on the stuff. And then let me open this. With the inside, when you open it up, if I can do this with one hand, which is, not working um it has the may bravo gate through tag and that's also black in there so now what i have to do is sew this to the gusset and then do the bias binding around the raw edges and then the bag will pretty much be done and then i just have to work on the strap from there so i'm gonna sew this up and then i'll check back in and let you know that and then pretty much explain what i'm gonna do for the strap so let's get to it All right, so I went ahead and turned the bag right side out and I just finished pressing it and holy <laughs> This bag is so freaking dope. Like normally I don't like the bag at first when I do it cause it's like something new. It's like, I'm really picky judging my work, but this is a dope design. Like it came out so freaking dope. I'm so excited about this piece. So the bag is pretty much done at this point. Now what I need to do, which is the last thing, is sew the strap. And I'm gonna do like a really nice light blue contrast stitching on here. And it's gonna have the silver swivel hooks and silver adjustable um, hardware as well. So the so last thing I have to do is sew this up and that's what you're gonna see. So I'm really excited with how this came out. Honestly, this was a really smooth project. Like. On like this was a really smooth project from start to finish. I started this bag, like the patterning for this bag Saturday and it's literally Tuesday, it's Halloween right now. I've been working all Halloween. Um, I literally work all the time, I don't do anything else. But uh, I started patterning this bag Saturday, tested the pattern, a little bit of pre-production Saturday, started sewing Sunday and it's Tuesday and I'm literally pretty much, it's been really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing up this strap and then the last final thing will be me talking about like my final thoughts on the project. So really excited how he's doing it. So let's sew this strap. All right, so it's been a couple of days and the bag is finished. I actually finished it on Halloween and it is currently 
Monday the next week. So I finished it almost about a week ago and the bag came out freaking amazing. Every day that I've sat with this bag and looked at it, you know, it's grown on me a lot more. I liked it from the very from the very beginning, but now it's like this bag is so dope. So I um, really love how it came out. Love the colors, love the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do really nice shots and talk about it, do a voiceover. So um, of course, you know, I love the colors on this bag. These colors complement each other so well. And I knew that going into it, which is kind of why I did it. I know in the past I've done black denim with light blue and I know that pink looks good with black and also looks good with light blue. So I just kind of added those in together and it came out amazing. Love the zigzag stitching. I honestly thought it was gonna be kind of difficult due to the fact that it had really tight curves on there, but it honestly wasn't even that bad. It was really smooth, really cool. And my favorite part, like I said, and it's a really small, part of the bag but the color of the zipper i really love it in the way it looks against the light blue denim it's amazing love the purse feet on the bottom and the only thing i will say is i wish on the back of the bag i wouldn't have reversed the flames i wish i would have just kept it the same way as i did on the front because on the back i did it in reverse um i wish i would have just kept it the same way but that's really the only thing i could say that i would have an issue with but it's not even that big of a deal and the interior i probably won't be able to show that because it's always hard to show the interiors but it's the salmon pink color came out really cool and the one thing i will say i don't like about the interior um is the bias binding which is not really even bias binding it's just binding um i use waterproof canvas for the interior of my bag so i use that for binding and it's doesn't really it has no stretch to it so when i do binding with that material it is kind of difficult um so the binding doesn't look perfect i'm not really even good at it honestly most of the binding that i use on bags it's never perfect but you can't really tell because it's on the inside um so i'm gonna go ahead and show the interior just because i probably wasn't able to do product shots so this is oops it needs to kind of be clean the inside i love this color on this bag has the zipper pocket back there my interior logo and then it has the slip pocket right there so i have all the compartments and it is waterproof as well so that's a cool component to it and the strap is adjustable so it can be made longer or shorter right now it's kind of short just so i can hold it up on camera but yes this bag is amazing i love it all the way throughout and i'm really glad that i decided to make it and add this to my what would you call it like catalog of bags that i made i've been building up a really nice catalog lately i'm really glad um with the work that i've been doing the piping on this piece looks really good i feel like piping is something that i'm still kind of learning the ropes of but i'm really i think figuring it out and it came out really good on this piece so yeah this is the finished product of the bag i have a name for it i'm gonna call it flame dancer because i thought the flames kind of looked like they were dancing to me and i had posted an instagram story on my instagram and asked you know uh for people to suggest names and stuff before i came up with the name flame dancer and some people submitted some names but i didn't really like any of them like some people were like blue flame um just things like that and i was like i don't that's not really giving me what i need so flame dancer to me really gives this the vibe and i love that name like oh this is the flame dancer bag like it's a really cool name so i'm calling it that and this bag is going to be retailing on my website for 615 dollars with a dust bag and shipping included and it's going to drop uh this friday whenever you're watching this it may not even be the friday that it drops and it may not even be up on my website depending on when you're watching this video but yeah 615 dollars that's the bag and shipping included and i would rate the difficulty of this project honestly it wasn't that difficult it really wasn't even that time consuming i would give it like a seven out of ten maybe even a six and a half out of ten um be even the parts that i thought would be difficult were kind of smooth the hardest part i would say would be doing the binding uh that was one of the hard which really that wasn't even that hard i'm just not that good at it so really it wasn't that crazy difficult so this is a really smooth project through and out i didn't really have to seam rip that much no mess ups or anything like that so this is the finished product i love how it came out i'm going to be dropping it this friday hopefully someone buys it my last bag that i did um which was the last video of the zap pack it sold out literally six hours before i even dropped it that's I don't even want to get into that right now that was a crazy thing but it sold the day of and it was a crazy it was really really grateful for that so hopefully this bag sells and i can start the new projects but yeah that's really all that i have to talk about so far so please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up let me know what you think down below in the comments on this bag make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when i do upload any new videos for all my um, projects that i'm going to be doing in the future or just anything like that so that's really all that I have to say and I'm gonna get going so I can start editing up this video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. This is.